Can I knit four rows? here skip three so that's the one it's got to be so it's one two three four go into the fourth row down release them and hang them back up oh yeah one two three four one two three four release it's a lot easier than fighting with the stitches one two three four whoops wait a minute <sighs> so much for my counting Restitch these. What they are basically is a staggered, and I didn't stagger. I got carried away, got excited. Okay, just reform these. Great lesson in reforming stitches. You know, I don't want them to be a purl stitch, so I want them purl on this side. Okay, so here is this one so I need this one so I want the same row same stitch as this row so that one should not have been done okay reform these one two Three, four, there. So this one is here. So it's this one I gotta go. One, two, three, and four. Yes. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. The f I'm going down the fourth loop down, so I have three yarn overs one two three four one two three four so I'm going so I have three yarn overs so I'm going down the fourth stitch below one two three four one two three four so I'm counting three bumps and then going into the stitch right below it Okay, now I'm going to knit, pick up my weight that fell, excuse me, a lot of times what I do when I don't have very many weights, this is great when you're using a lot of weights, but when you're only using two bars, you need something a little bit smaller, so use a small document clip. Okay, so that one is done, and I'm going to leave it like that. Come over here. And four rows. And I think we've solved the problem of the drop stitches. I hope. So. One. Two. Three. Transfer to and I want it in between them, so this is where I want to go. So it's one, two, three, and four. Spread it out. I have three ladders, which is yarn overs. So it's one, two, three, four backwards. And I should have three yarn overs. Sometimes it's easy to start in the middle and work your way across. Three ladders. One, two, three, four. Three ladders. Release the stitches. Don't get too carried away. Three, four. Okay, I want that in the latch. 
one, two, three, and four. And let's see, one, two, three, four. You want to come up? Am I in the wrong slate? Okay, I need to check that out because it does not look the same. So I'm hanging weights on the work itself so that I can take my cast on comb off so I can see what I just did because I have a feeling I missed a little bit. There we go. Let's get that out of my way. Okay, so here is this one coming up is the center. Here is the center. Haha! Oh. -ha. Ah, I got it. My um, cast on comb was in my visual way, so I couldn't see where I wanted to start it. Can you see me? Yeah, good. So I'm going to recreate this and start this row again. Now if you want the work to stay steady while you're doing this rearranging, you can put a stomper either before, because that would pull it too tight for me, or after. And I think this will give me a little bit of leeway to do what I need to do. I'll just push back what I don't use. Okay, undo this. Now you can't just ladder it up this way because you don't want to convert the stitch. And if that's too deep, just come in a little bit <coughs> and stitch it. Hold the loop and then you can just put that back on. <coughs> Excuse me. So another way to fix it. Let me put this back on there. There we go. Get these out of the way. Now, this needs a little bit more weight because it's getting kind of bubbly. So I'm just going to hang some loose weights here. And that'll do the trick for what I want it to do. Okay, so take your transfer tool. Remember how we re reformed it when we dropped a stitch? Well, we're going to pretend we just dropped those, four, those three rows. So just re-stitch it. And this is just another way to reform drop stitches. A lot quicker. Okay, now what we're doing is we got the tuck here, tuck here, and I want to go in between that tuck. So this is where I want to go. So it's one, two, three, then into that stitch. Take them off, rehang. So it's one, two, three, four. One. What are you doing? Is you count the count the loops? The loop is one, two, three, and the next one is the four. I have three lat three yarn overs and up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three yarn overs. One tuck. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yarn overs, three of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's how I'm going to be doing my tucks. So I'm at 16 rows for each one. Give me some yarn. So I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to use, not use my cast on comb. Let's see if it works, how it works. So let me put it, hang it down there for now. So we will knit four rows. All right, let's hang it up. The yarn's 
it's pulling forward on me where the tuck is. So just push it back. Now I'm pushing with my thumb to get that tuck to go in. One, two, three, one, three, and a drop stitch. I think what happened is my lack was open and I was not paying attention. So I did not reach in and close my latch. Okay. And four. Okay, now I gotta do four more on this side. Okay, push all your work back. That's a good way of doing it. There we go. Okay. I pulled too much on it. You have plenty of leeway on the yarn. One, two, three, four. Okay, you find your centers, and it should be right with this one. Follow this up, and then one, two, three, four. And that's going to be a tuck. See, I have three yarn overs. So then one, two, three, four. That one's going to be a tuck, I think. Okay, we did not tuck that one, see? So we're going to keep with that pattern. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three yarn overs. Up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three yarn overs. We have. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yarn overs. Rehang. Did I do any over there? Nope. And I could have done this last one, but I don't think I did it. 